Hey guys, welcome to Degrees of Shining, and tonight is another look in my clubbing series, Queen's Gold, and if you'd like to see how I created the look, stay okay. tuned. So I'm going to start with a base of color, and I'm going to use, I think, a combination of things. This is Rubenesque from MAC, it's a paint pot, and then over that I'm going to use a slightly richer gold cream, and this is from the Metal X collection a couple years ago, I think it was like close to the red, red she said. And so I'm just going to use my finger, and I'm going to dab a little bit on my finger here, warm it up, and then I'm just going to lay this all over the lid. Okay, so now I am laying down a small amount of that Metal X. This is actually called Gold Spice, and it's kind of a cream metallic, and this is just going all over the lid just okay, above Okay, now I'm taking a very small detail brush. This is just a Master's Touch paintbrush. I'm going to take a little bit of that Metal X, and I'm going to put this in the inner third of my eye. It's to highlight. I'm going to drag it out a little bit, about a third underneath okay, my lower So now eye. I'm going to start working with my gold colors and I'm going to start with Urban Decay's Half Baked. It's this beautiful gold color. It's the lightest of their gold colors, kind of shimmery, metallic. And I'm taking a small shadow brush, just a flat shadow brush, Sonia Kushak, and I'm going to lay this on the inner third of my lid just a little bit above the crease. Okay, so the next gold I'm going to work with is from the Alice in Wonderland palette, and it is Auriculum, which is, in their regular collection, it's called Baked. So it's that next darkest gold, again, shimmery and metallic. And this is going to go on the middle part of the lid, and you'll see it's just a little darker. It's going right up to okay, just so the, the next thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of that on the same eyeshadow brush and just drag some down along the lower lash line from that inner area that I laid down earlier with the Metal X, the Gold Spice, and all along the bottom lash line. Okay, so the next color is coming from the Alice in Wonderland palette, and it is Queen. It is that beautiful, rich, red-toned purple. Again, warmer, and I'm taking it on a small domed crease brush, and I'm going to build this color up in the outer V area and into the crease, a little bit at a time so it's nicely blended and drag a little bit down onto the lower lash line. Again, working in the outer V, and this is going to be a really soft blending. Okay, and you'll see I've also dragged some down below the lower lash line. Before I was saying onto the upper lash line, drag a little bit down onto the upper lash line, and then to connect, I drag down to the lower lash line, kind of blending it into the gold that's under there. Again, building up some color. The next color I'm going to work with is Sketch. This is a velvet color from MAC. You'll see it's a super deep, plummy purple, uh, again, in that red tone family, very warm. Same short dome crease brush. Uh, the, this brush is from Japanesque. It's their 232. I love it. I love it because it's short and it's compact and it's easy to control when you're working in tight, confined spaces. So this I'm really concentrating in the crease area, right into the crease, the actual physical crease there, and then that outer V, and again just blending it as I add the color again, building up. I'll probably do a couple layers of this. Okay, so with the same crease brush. I'm just dragging color that's already there. I haven't added any more shadow, but I am kind of following along the natural bone and crease area of my on the inner part. I'm just kind of dragging the color in to get, uh, again, to create some depth. All right, so to just deepen the crease area, I'm going to add a little bit of black from my beat up sleep palette. This poor thing has had its day. Uh, just a little tiny amount, just tiny, tiny tap it off and again being very careful not to lay down it lay it down too heavy and focusing right in on the crease area and I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend that focusing right into okay, that. So I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes now, but I'm going to start with a color liner and then build up with a little bit of black. This is Urban Decay's 1999. It is in that same red purple family, very similar to Last Call slash Queen, and I'm going to use this on my upper lash line and my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw with small dabs all the way to the inner third, true duct area, all along, close down. Alright, so to set the liner that I laid down, I'm going to dab with an angled brush in Queen, which is Last Call, and Jabberwocky, which is uh, 
Urban Decay's Oil Slick. It's kind of similar to black tie, I think with a little bit less sparkle, um, black tie being a matte color. I'm going to tap that off, and then I'm going to gently dab along the liner that I laid down and just kind of smoke it out, make it a little fuzzy, soften the line. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put on a pair of false lashes. These are our Dell 105s, and you'll see that they're very wearable. They're a normal or a natural length, and they're um, not as dense or as thick as something super dramatic over the top. And of course, I'm just using Duo Adhesive, and I'm just going to lay this down as close as I can to my lash. Okay, so I've already curled my lashes with a heated eyelash curler, and now I'm putting on a coat of... L'Oreal Extra Volume Collagen Lash to blend the two sets of lashes and then I'll also put a coat on my lower lash. Okay, in keeping with my love of glitter, I'm going to use a little bit of Reflex Gold from MAC on a very small shadow brush and I'm just taking a tiny, tiny amount, tiny amount about like that, and I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus. And then I'm going to gently dab this over the gold part of my look. And again, this is just a very tiny amount, just a little bit of sparkle to pop the eye. Okay, for my face, I'm just going to go ahead and do a highlight. As always, when I get on camera, I've already put on my foundation and whatever powder I'm using to set and bronzer. And so I'm going to use Urban Decay's Baked, which is this wonderful okay, baked And the bronzer. other color that I'm going to add to my cheek is Notable. It's a MAC blush. It's kind of a plummy, red-toned, earthy, and I'm taking that on my 188 brush, just a small stippling brush, and I'm going to lay this on the cheek and kind of blend it into my cheekbone. Do that. Okay, so that completes the look. The last thing I did was line my waterline. I use Urban Decay's Zero 24-7 pencil black and I do that right on the waterline last. I wear contacts and I'm always afraid it's going to get all gunked up in the corners of my eyes. Though I do find that that pencil really does stay nicely on the waterline. So that is it. My Queen's Gold. Let me zoom in for you. Another in my clubbing series looks. And you'll see a big bold eye. Smoky gold and a red purple with a little bit of black liner, black liner on the waterline, and then the liner on the top is actually a red to plum color um, set with black and the same red toned purple that is in the crease. Defined brow with a little bit of a highlight. False pair of lashes that are wearable with a little bit of mascara on the top and bottom. And then the face has bronzer and then a gold highlight which is a baked bronzer, and then the lips are nude, just nude liner and gold gloss for me. However, you could choose to wear a bold lip with a bold eye. There's no reason you cannot do that. So you could pick like a red-toned plum purple or actually use a gold tone lipstick like, oh, what do I have here? Do I even have it? I think I put it away, but, or a nude uh, color like OCC's Lip Tar in Petty Beige. This is beautiful. But again, because I'm struggling with chapped lips, I cannot really put any color on there without it really showing all of the cracks in my lips. So gloss and a nude liner tends to cover it and you can't really see it. So anyways, blah, 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 blah. I hope you enjoyed the look as always. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please leave me your feedback. You know I love it, and I will see you real soon. Bye.